what's going on everybody welcome back to yet another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and how to use your book trader on interactive brokers but real quick as always before we hop into the video if you guys do find value in this video make sure to smash that like button as well as commenting down below letting me know if you do want more interactive brokers content but without further ado let's hop into the video all right so the first time that you open up your interactive brokers it's going to look just like this if you want to keep these tabs you can i'm personally going to delete them but the first thing that we are going to do is click this plus button and we're just going to call this book trader and then we're going to click create now from here if you want to delete these tabs all you have to do is right click and click close tab so now that we're on this new tab that we just set up what we're first going to do is come up here to the top right and we are going to unlock this so that we get this green border around the screen this is going to allow us to adjust the layout on interactive brokers so the very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to click new window and we are going to find book trader and we are going to click on that if you guys are familiar with active trader on thinkorswim this is essentially going to be your active trader on interactive brokers now by default it's going to look just like this i'm going to show you guys how to pull up options on this but in the meantime we do want to fix this buttons tab right here so the very first thing that we are going to do is click this little configure button right here and then as we can see, we have closed position, reverse position, and view account. I would personally just delete this view account as well as deleting reverse position. And now from there, we're going to click apply. Now what we're going to do is we are going to click new. And right here where it says select action, we're going to click that and we are going to find buy. From there, you're going to click on buy and then you're going to go down to order type. For me, I like to use market orders. I know some people don't like using market orders. So we're just going to choose buy market. If you want to set a certain size, then you can. But we're just going to leave that default for the time being. And then we're going to come down here to transmit the order instantaneously. And we are going to click that and we are going to click OK. Now from here, we're gonna click on buy market and we're gonna move this up. Now what we wanna do is come back over here to new and we're gonna click right here where it says select action and we are gonna scroll down and we are going to find sell. Now once you find sell, you wanna click on that. Same thing, come to order type and then choose market. Now again, you can play around with this if you wanna buy mid price or you wanna buy limit or even sell limit, whatever you wanna do, you can play around with this. But again, I like to use sell market and buy market. So we're just going to click market for this same thing transmit the order instantaneously click OK and then we're going to come back here and we're going to move this up one and then we're going to click apply and now you can see we have the option to buy market or sell market and to change your size all you're going to do is click right here again I'm going to show you guys how to pull up the option contracts and if you want to buy into the position all you're going to do is click buy market and then sell market now from here what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to new window and we are going to find the option chain tab. From there, you wanna click on that. And now this, you wanna make sure that these two windows right here are linked. Doesn't matter what color you wanna make these. If you wanna make them both group five, feel free to do so. Again, it really doesn't matter. But as soon as I pull up Microsoft, or if I even switch it on over to Apple, this is going to pull up the option chain. So the left side is gonna be our calls. The right side is gonna be our puts. If I wanted to buy Apple 175 calls right now, all I have to do is click on this and it's immediately going to pull it up over here on the book trader. Now, if I wanted to buy five contracts, I could click on this, bring it up to five, again, buy market to get into the position and then sell market to get out. If I wanted to pull up Tesla, I would come on over here, type in Tesla. Same thing, it's gonna pull up the contracts. I can choose the expiration date. If I wanted to go in next week, choose next week. Say I wanted the 265 calls, I'm gonna click right here. It's gonna pull up the 265 calls right on over here on the book trader. And if I wanna get in, buy market if i want to get out sell market now the last thing that i would personally do and i really like to use this is having a chart up of the option chain so go up to new window head on over to chart click that and then same thing we are going to make sure that these are all linked with each other so now when i click on this 265 call again it's going to pull up the 265 call on the chart so i can see okay when tesla was trading down at this low the option costs this much if I were to get long at 4.5 and my stop loss is below the previous lows, okay, I should size for this thing to get stopped out around 4.10 to 4. That's why I personally like to use the option chart. But again, if all of these are synced, all you have to do is come up here, find the stock that you want to trade. Let's type in NVIDIA. 
pull it up we're going to use this week's expiration we're going to go with the calls and let's just go with the 440s we're going to click right here and again if i want to get in all i have to do is buy market to get out sell market that is going to wrap up this video on how to use book trader on interactive brokers again if you guys do want more interactive broker videos definitely make sure to smash that like button and comment down below and if you want to check out interactive brokers i do have an affiliate link down in the description everybody have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video